You know, DJ, I don't think I've ever seen somebody smiling that big after getting hit by a pitch by Aroldis Chapman. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, faced him a lot with Baltimore and not much success, so if he's going to give it to me, I'll take it. <laughs> First career walk-off RBI, but that really was just the, the cherry on top of an unbelievable night for you. Now, eight home runs in your last 13 games, two tonight. What has gotten into you during this stretch? I don't know. I mean, it's like I said before, I, I feel really good about the work that I'm putting in in the cage. I'm confident in it, that it's working, translating from Syracuse. And when you're confident and you go into the box in the game, it, it slows down a little bit for you. And I'm just trying to hit my pitch and not miss it. On the game-tying home run, you got your pitch first pitch. Was there something in particular you were looking for right off the bat? No. Uh, we saw him last night or the night before, the first game, and he dotted some change-ups low and away to Vogie. And I didn't want to get to that pitch. so. I was looking first pitch heater. He gave it to me, and I didn't miss it. Also had a game-saving defensive play in that ninth inning. The Simeon uh, ball hit to right field. I mean, you've looked like you've gotten more and more comfortable in the outfield as you've played more often. Uh, just, I guess, what is the key to making that play, and how, how much more comfortable have you felt recently? Uh, it, like you said, it's being comfortable. Um, playing more um, gives me confidence on, on my defense. That is a part of my game that I need to work on. Um, just being comfortable out there and having the guys around me trust me so going out there and make a play for him. DJ congratulations on an unbelievable night. Thank you I appreciate it.